there's a couple questions in there. I want you to elaborate a little bit more. Like, what are those missing skills? How do you waste a season? Like, okay, so the missing skills is a lot of times you'll have a young player that is it's tremendously athletic. They're stronger, they're faster, they're quicker. So they can make plays at a lower level. All they do is they go and they play those games and they make those plays, but they're missing how to cross over. They're missing the appropriate form on a shot. So they can score as a young player because they're more athletic because they just get to the basket. But once they play against a good coach, a well-coached team that helps defense and closes down the middle, they don't have another answer because they've always just been able to out become more athletic than everybody else. But once the talent level you know, levels out and they're playing against good coach teams, they can't they don't have a a, a, a developed jump shot. They don't have a, a move that can create space. You know, they've got a good defender on them and they don't know how to do a step back. They don't know how to use a pump fake. Or they, they they're a big tall player, but they don't have a post series move. They don't have any moves down in the post. Um, they don't know how to space the floor right. So there's a lot of things that the kids need to learn things that they need to work on that inspired me to do uh, Next Level Basketball Academy. And as far as wasting a season, it happens all the time. Coaches will spend 85% of their practice running through plays, plays that will not transfer the next season. So here's a kid that spent his entire basket, his fifth or sixth or seventh or eighth, whatever grade it is, they spent their entire season running and learning plays, and then the next year they have a new coach and they have all new plays. So they never really got better. They didn't become a better shooter. They didn't become a better dribbler. Uh, they didn't understand help defense positioning off the ball. They didn't understand the game at a higher level, and they wasted a season. I see it all the time. It's unfortunate. Uh, and usually that transcends because the coach wants to win every game, and that can help that coach win in a short term, they can win more games by doing it, but it hurts the players long term. So I, I think I really think there's a balance. You know, in youth coaching, there's a balance of trying to win games, but also understanding your really your goal is to develop the kids and help them become better players for the future. That's great. So let me kind of recap and see if I get what you're saying. You're saying player development skill wise is more important than practicing team concepts, like formations and plays like that, right? Yeah, and I would say the younger the age, the more, you know, us at Next Level, we believe you should be doing skill development. As you progress and get older, then team development, you know, starts to become more and more important each year. But certainly in fourth grade, skill development trumps plays and offensive sets and all of those things in fourth and fifth and sixth grade, even middle school, there's got to be a balance, even if it's 50-50. Uh, but I think the thing that a lot of coaches miss is, you know, they don't teach the kids how to finish in transition. They don't teach them how to finish through contact. They don't practice those things. They don't practice proper shot mechanics um, and working with the kids. Because that's, you know, it's a pure shooting shot takes a, a long time to learn and a lot of practice. It doesn't just happen overnight. You know, you know, the good shooters doesn't happen overnight. And, you know, a lot of times coaches aren't focusing on those things because, you know, kids are trying to win games and they're just working on their offense and their plays. And I, I think that can be a mistake. Not to say that you don't have to have offense and plays because you do because you want to win games and you want to be competitive. Uh, but that's what we focus on. We want to teach help defense. We want the coaches, you know, in our coaching packages and things of that nature, we want our, we want our coaches to learn the proper drills and the right things to get their defenses aligned um, and maximize their practice. You know, that's the key, uh, Keith, is, you know, if, if you, I can go to a coach and uh, practice and I want to see all the kids moving, everybody in a drill, lots of activity. If I see kids standing in lines waiting for one ball to pass, you know you're, you're wasting time and you're wasting your season. So being efficient as a coach is not easy. And that's why having tools in front of you to make it easier um, can really be beneficial. 
So, you know, you take somebody like myself who's done the homework, who has went to the camps, has went to the college classes, has done the scouting. You know, I didn't talk about that, but, you know, scouted players and did the video editing and done all these things. It's exciting to be able to share it so that somebody doesn't have to take 10 years or 12 years like it took me. You know, it took me a long time to gain these skills. And the idea is get them quick, get them right there quick. That's the idea. Don't take 10 years. Take, take a month, learn all the stuff, and then be, be, be a, a good coach to your kids. Awesome. 